Do you sometimes face problems in your company or in your personal life and think that these problems are not solvable at all? Then watch this video until the end and find out how this little orange may help you to solve your problems in a very short amount of time. Hello and welcome to Frank Lange TV. My name is Frank Lange. I'm an executive coach and this channel is all about you. You as a top manager in the medical device industry. And this channel will help you to get all the tools, techniques and tactics to grow your business 10x and also grow your personal life. Today I want to tell you a story. The story is all about this little orange and two twin sisters. These twin sisters are getting in a fight because both of the sisters want to have the orange so they get into a fight and argue for hours and hours. This is my orange, I had it first, but I bought it, yes, but mommy said, and so on and so forth. And they do not get to a solution. There is just one orange and both of them want to have it completely. So what's the solution to this problem? Please pause this video here and comment down below what your solution would be in this situation. Normally people come up with a lot of solutions for this problem. And let's discuss some of the solutions and find out what the corresponding effect in your company would be. So one of the solutions would be take the orange, cut it into the half, and give every one of the two sisters half of the orange. That's a solution that takes place in many companies where there are two projects fighting for resources. And you know, normally there are not just two projects in a company, but 10, 20, or even 100. So the problem is even bigger. And cutting the resources into the half or even in smaller pieces leads to a situation which I call thin butter spreading. This is a situation where all of the resources are smeared equally through all of the projects and of course none of the projects will get the real grip to get fast. The same applies to the two sisters. None of both will be happy with this solution. The next solution, which I hear always when I come into companies as a consultant, is we need more oranges, or in the company, we need more resources, we need more people, we need more money, we need more of everything. But would that solve the problem? Of course, in the short run, both of the sisters would get their complete orange. But as you will see later on, the problem between these two sisters lies deeper. And solving the problem in this way would hinder the sisters to get good solutions in the future. Third solution that I often hear, okay, sisters, you fight about this orange, so mama will take it away and none of you will get one. That's a solution that comes into place in companies also. So when two project managers fight about resources and it doesn't uh, work out pretty much, then there's often an order from the top management to get the resources completely out of both projects and put it into a third project where no problem seems to appear. Now, what was your solution? Was it one of the three given ones or was it even different? To solve these kind of problems, it's often necessary to go deeper. So not just ask about the wants of another person, but about the needs. Sometimes discussions get very heated and it's not possible for the both contractors to find a solution by themselves. So in our story, the person coming from the outside is the mother. And she asks the first daughter, what exactly do you want to do with that orange? The daughter replies, well, mama, that's a pretty easy question. Of course, I want to take the juice out of the orange and drink it. What else should I do with an orange? So the mother continues asking and goes to the second daughter and asks her, well, what exactly do you want to do with that orange? And the second daughter replies, well, 
Mama, that's a pretty easy question. Of course, I want to take the skin out of the orange because I want to bake the best orange cake available in the whole world. What else should I do with an orange? And coming back to your company, perhaps you have the same situation there pretty often. So you have a discussion and you have arguments and you have no solution and disagreement and anger until somebody asks the right questions. If you want to get more information about a system which helps you to ask the right questions, then there are two solutions to it. One is the dilemma cloud from the theory of constraints, and the other one is the so-called Harvard method. So please leave a message below or send me a direct message to let me know which of both techniques is more interesting to you and about which of both techniques I should make one of my next videos. So if this video was informational and helpful to you, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be one of the first ones to get new informations about videos to come. See you.